Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and we've got a uh, 1998 Pontiac Trans Am. Pretty cool little car. We're gonna be taking it down the road, pointing out flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. This one is the automatic version. Somebody put the uh, pace car stickers on here. I noticed the WS6 Trans Am emblem. I checked and it's not. It's not the WS6. Got a set of Corvette wheels on. And of course, we'll be taking it down the road. Anything I see, you're going to know about. That's why I'm doing this video for you. Look at the detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. We do have financing and shipping available. And I hope you enjoy this ride. If you do, hit subscribe and share this video. Sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Looking around the interior before we take off. The top of the steering wheel has got some wear. Uh, the dashes are notorious for cracking, but not in those spots. That's probably some sun damage there. It's usually cracked up here. Which, surprisingly, it looks good. Coming across. Interior. I was going to say, also, these usually break, and they're not. Oh, we got a dog over here. <laughs> Interior, the seat's not bad. Back seat looks good. top of the seat in the middle there's got some tears you also got some tears here by the uh, t-top over here on the headliner and your visors let's go ahead and start it up see oil pressure is good on this one engine temperature still working its way up Got a check engine light on. Looks like a low coolant light, but we've already checked all the fluids, so the light's just going to stay on. Um, we'll go ahead and pull up. I'm blocking everybody in here. You can see on top of the shifter there, it's got some sun damage as well. They put an aftermarket radio in, which is working. AC. I don't think the compressor kicked on. The blower motor's working. No, it's not gonna get cold. It's getting hotter, anything. Wipers, working. Okay, so far, it went over the interior. Turn signals are popping up, both sides, and it's showing 145,000 miles. Let's hit the road and get a little gas first. Okay. Yeah, you can see the headliner here is kind of pulling away on this side, too. Missing the lock on the T-top over here. This one's got the lock in it. Uh, try not to miss anything here. Looks like it definitely got some sun damage. Probably left the T-tops out. I do it all the time in the Camaro over there. Also park mine in the garage when I get home. <laughs> all right. Here we go, guys. Anything I see, you'll know about the temperature is working it's coming on up everything on the dash seems to be working as well this car is going straight as an arrow down the road tight steering i believe it had the slp exhaust the brakes feel good station I don't want to run out um, I've had experience with these once you get close to the E you might want to go ahead and get gas because it will run out early the ashtray messed up a little lid is Okay, let's pull in here, get about $20, $30 worth of fuel, 
and then we'll try to get some undercarriage shots if this car is not too low. Uh, definitely want to try to get that on film. We'll pass by the camera, and then towards the end, we'll be picking out the flaws. I'll see you here in just a moment. Okay, thirty dollars worth of premium fuel in this ride here. You put it in over here on the driver's rear. Also noticed on this cap, it's missing a little connector, which is not a big deal, but. I'm sure the gas cage works. Looks like it's already coming up. I don't even have the car on. There we go, it is. Working good. Let's keep it rolling. Good deal. Gonna roll out of here, head on back to the lot. Let's get my seatbelt on. So far, so good. Did the walk around. Checked everything out on this one that I could find. This one has definitely uh, had its days. Let's we'll say it's been sun damaged. I've seen that. Let me get that dangling part out the video here. 
suspension wise and we're coming back around to the car lot now guys I appreciate you watching if you haven't already hit subscribe and picking out the flaws coming up next thanks Okay, let's get to it. Picking out the flaws. I'm gonna walk around this ride, point out chips, scratches, anything I can find. Detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Finance and shipping is available. Let's get started. Coming around the front. You had a few little scuffs on this front bumper. Bunch of chips on the headlight there. The chips up here too. Like cracks in the paint. Coming down this side. A couple little bugs and light scuffs. Sticker kit's not bad. Turns pulling away there. A few little bubbles and your stripes chips there cracks in your rear bumper back your midsection paint's got a bunch of little cracks imperfections here a spot there chip there over your front windshield looks pretty good nice and clean the seals in good shape t-tops look good around to the back here the tops of your seats are sun damaged seal around the trunk is in good shape Coming down with it. Locks easy. And around your back bumper, a little scuff here. Got some dirt sitting on that back bumper from the test drive there. A lot of times water will get trapped behind the lights and come out as you drive. You got spider webs in the bumper too. Coming down this side. A 
chips right here. Chips at the bottom. Part of the plastic still on the sticker kit there. Spot here and here on top of the fender. Looks like they got silicone right here on this weather strip. Spot in the sticker kit. I just pushed out, pushed out. Chip in the corner. Okay, let's check out the interior now and get her started up. Of course, we mostly went over it before we left, but I'll look over it one more time. The bell is working for the door. Little scuffs here on that panel. around in the back there we go the seat here's got rips tears down in the bottom it's like a tear over here Say that's what happened they left the t-tops out too much <laughs> the controls here they got some screws they're all working you got some scratches on your window there but they're for sure sinking down in the door Pretty quiet in this one. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. I'll keep these videos coming your way. Go to maplemotors.com for finance and shipping, detailed pictures. And thanks. See you in the next one.